Ok. Good evening. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? Let me share my document. Okay, good evening, everyone. How are you? Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's good to hear you. Okay. Let's begin. Okay, today the topic is the future tense, and we're going to review, review the future. Okay. So this is the intermediate one, right? And today is the last class, okay? Your teacher uh, couldn't make it today. To be honest, I don't know why, okay? So in the agenda, we have an introduction, review of previous learning, warm up, review the future and practice. So we're going to try to do the first part quickly for you to practice a bit more. Okay, uh, the objectives continue to be to uh, review the different tenses, okay? So, what did you study yesterday? Do you remember what topics you discussed yesterday? We talk about the using of will and going to. Using will, going to. Okay, excellent. Today we're going to work on that. Okay, we're going to be doing a couple of things in order to do that. Okay, let's see. What's better? Okay, you have to give your opinion and give reasons, ah, I think this is better because it has more sugar, less sugar, okay? So, which is better, Pepsi or Coca-Cola? Opinions? Wendy likes Coca-Cola, she told me already. Hey, that's one. Yes. Yes, you like Coca-Cola, okay. Yeah. Why, why do you think it's better? Why is Coca-Cola better than Pepsi? For me, it's the flavor. Flavor. Yes. Do you think that it has more um, sodium? I don't know. It's um, complicated to explain for me, but and Coca-Cola for, for tra tradition. Uh, and in my opinion, in bottle and the vidrio is better. In glass is better. Mm -hmm. Yes. In a glass bottle, Coca-Cola is better. Yes. No. You are not the first person who tells me that. Other people told me, hey, Coca-Cola in glass bottles is better. Okay. Oh? No? Yes. Yeah, I agree. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, what do you think about this one, the Coca-Cola in can? Does it have more gas? Probably. <laughs> the peak, no sé, in, in the throat. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, Brian, what's your opinion? Which of the two is better, Pepsi or? Coca-Cola, and don't tell me a Pepsi teacher because Lionel Messi drinks Pepsi. Uh, for me, I think it's better uh, Coca-Cola. Why? Because uh, the flavor, I don't know, 
19 Pepsi is it has too much sugar. I feel so so sweet. Yeah, absolutely, Brian. I agree with you. Yes. Okay, thank you. How about Eric? What's your opinion? Which is better, Pepsi or Coca Cola? In my opinion, uh, the Coca Cola is better because it has um, more, more, more gas, more soda. Yes. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Um, I'm, I'm on the bus yet. Um, yes. You like Coca Cola too, right? And I can turn on my camera. Oh, don't worry. If you cannot, don't worry. It's okay. Okay. I can turn on my mic too. Okay. That's okay. Yeah. Thank you. There's a party going on, so it's okay. No problem. Okay. How about Santos? What's your opinion? Uh, my favorite uh, bar is Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Mm. And the reason yes. is, right? Yeah. You know, I'm doing this commercial because Coca-Cola will pay me. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. I'm just kidding. I don't know why your teacher thought about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I think that mm, there's something hidden somewhere, okay? Let's see, let's continue. Which is better, Android or the iPhone? iPhone, Android, which is better? The pictures with the uh, iPhones, wow, my, they are really, really great. The pictures. But you pay for the music, you pay for the games, you pay for the program, you pay for a lot of money for the device. Then Android, the device is cheaper, the, the games are free, the music is free, you can download a lot of applications and make your life less miserable and more interesting. I'm not making propaganda to Android, but my favorite is Android. <laughs> so, which is- You're a sad person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you, did you know that in, in the United States, they use iPhone the most because it's more expensive. And they say it's classy. It's classy to have an iPhone. Show me your phone, iPhone. My puppy bought it for me, okay? However, here no, Android, okay? Everything is cheap, everything is nice. <laughs> so it's a little bit different. So your opinion is what? Which is better? Let's say that everything is free on iPhone. Which is better? In my opinion, I think it's better Android because uh, because, como usted dijo, as you say, the everything is free, is cheaper, and that's that's a good a good point for me yes you download music directly to your phone it's easy and it's free you have to download the music to the iphone via itunes and you pay a lot of money nah definitely not spotify 
is free. But can they can iPhone have Spotify? Nope. It's really sad. Okay. Very sad. Okay, Vladimir, what's your opinion? Which is better? Um Android is better in talking about um, uh, uh, money and su valor. Yes. Uh, but both have uh, many features. Uh, for example, um, I know that the camera in the iPhone is better always. Yeah. That and um, that the Android. Maybe but not always, but yes. But the Android um all apps are uh, free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. This yes. is my my opinion. What's your opinion? Excellent. Very good. There are some Xiaomi uh, Android telephones that the camera. Wow. And there, even there are some Huawei that the camera is awesome. Samsung, not so much. Samsung, not so much. But HTC or something like that is the name. The camera is wonderful. So it's similar to the one in iPhone. Okay. And we have that. Everything is free. <laughs> okay. So. Let's see, no more propaganda. Let's continue with the other one. So Santos, what do you think? What's better? Something hot or something cold? Right now, mm. in this moment. Yeah. My I favorite is hot. hot. <laughs> Fatima says that is something hot. Yes, because in that day was very cold and now, it rains in my city. Okay, so you want something hot. Yes. Okay. Excellent, thank you, Fatima. Okay, Santos, again, what do you think? My uh, favorite hot, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, coffee? Uh, coffee, coffee. It's, uh, Cappuccino, no. Uh, American. Ah, Americano, okay. American Express, espresso. Yes, it's okay. super fort. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, all right, excellent. Wonderful, okay. Wendy, hot or cold? But. Hot. But ambos. Both, both. Uh, yeah, both are, are delicious. Coffee is coffee. Yeah. Hot and cool for me. Mm -hmm. But yes, <laughs> yes, I don't, I don't care. It's, it's nice. Okay. It's coffee. Yeah, it's all right. That's okay. Nice, wonderful. How about you, Brian? Which is better, hot or cold, right now, this moment? Yeah, at this moment, maybe the better option is, is hot. Hot. Because the is. It's a little cold. A little cold. Here in my house is boiling. I'm sweating. Okay. Sweating. So uh, for me right now it's cold. Hey, where are, where are you, Tisha? In San Salvador. Here in San Salvador. It rained, but it rained a it's little. Rainy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Rain very little. And then the heat, the heat is on, like the song, the, the heat is on, says the song. And yes, the, the heat is on. Okay. What about you, Santos? You said, you said hot, right? Fatima said hot. Brian says hot. And Wendy says hot and cold. Hot and cold. Okay, excellent. Wonderful. What about you, Eric? Um, 
in the morning for me is hot. And right now? Yeah. Uh, cold. Cold. Yes. Yes. Right now for me, I would drink something cold. Coca-Cola, no problem. Yes, but I can't drink Coca-Cola. So they kill me if I drink Coca-Cola. Okay, so. All right, let me see. What's better to use to go to work? A bicycle or a car? A car. <laughs> Wendy says a car, of course, a car. In El Salvador, it doesn't matter what part of El Salvador, a car is better than a bicycle. Because here you're riding your bicycle and boom, they hit you, okay? So Brian, for you, which is better, the bicycle or the car? It's better the car. car In right. my case, the public transportation is the better option. Oh, the public transportation is better yes. option. You can say hello to the neighbors, right? Hello, neighbor. How are you doing? Fine, okay, wonderful. So, of course, why not? Yes, yes, okay. But the car and the bicycle, the car, but public transportation, you protect the planet. Yes. You protect the planet and that is something that people are forgetting about. Excellent, thank you, Brian. How about Santos? What do you think, bicycle or car? Mm, I had this, the bicycle. Uh, no cart. <laughs> okay. Yes. It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, como, it's uh, como. more ecological. It's mejor, uh, más ecological. More Correct. ecological. You Thank protect you. the environment. Okay. Mm -hmm. Protect the environment and yeah. Excellent. Thank you. How about you, Fatima? What do you think? Car or bicycle? Opinion, bicycle is better than car because if 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 we use a bicycle, we we can contribute with the planet and is is more healthy for the body. Yeah, you, you can do exercise when you use the bicycle. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Sure, I agree with you. Okay, thank you, Fatima. What about Eric? What do you think? Motorcycle, no motorcycle, bicycle or car? Okay, um, for health, uh, bicycle is better. But in our country, um, the car is, is safer. The car is safer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. The car is safer. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. Let's move on. We have Wendy's and uh, Burger King. Your teacher obviously prefers Wendy's. He made the picture bigger than the other one. Okay. Obviously, your teacher, when he, you see him again, ask him. Teacher, do you like um, Wendy's better than Burger King? Does Burger King still exist? Do we still have Burger King? Yes. Or it's only, it's only McDonald's. McDonald's and Wendy's. Biggest doesn't exist, or yes. Uh, yes, exist. We still yes. have two sucurs, two sucursals. Two branches, okay? Two branches, all right, or two stores. And, uh, but Burger King, no, right? Or oh, yes. I don't, yes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't eat, I don't eat hamburgers. <laughs> I don't know. They kill me if I eat hamburgers, so I can't. Okay. So then, but Wendy, which is better? It's, it's better Wendy's. Wendy's, right? Two. Uh, it, it, the, 
ingred ingredients 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 is is better and bread and tomatoes cheese etc 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 for me is better okay excellent thank you very much what for you brian Wendy's. 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 Okay. Why? Double, double, double meat, double cheese, and bacon. Cheese. Okay. Because there are a Wendy's and in everywhere. Wendy's is popular. Okay, when this is possible. And uh, I like the fries. That's purpose. Fries. Ah, fries. Uh -huh. the fries. The fries. They are the, yeah, I agree with you. Absolutely. Thank you. How about you, Santos? Which of the two? Uh, the Red Seats Burger King is when did no um, dislike. You don't like it. You don't like it. Um, it doesn't have sesame seeds on top. And this it's, is uh, the, the meat, it is so, so <laughs> sin sabor. Uh, bland, it's really bland. Mm -hmm. okay. Bland, uh -huh. It's really bland, all right, excellent. Thank you, Santos. How about you, Bloody? Which do you think, Burger King or Wendy's? Uh, Wendy's hamburger with the uh, with the twice fries of Burger King. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so you like uh, Wendy's hamburger with the Burger King's fries? Okay. Yeah. Twice. Twice. Double. <laughs> no. Twist. Twist. Ah, twist. 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 Okay. I twist see. fries. Twist. Okay. Excellent. Very good. How about you, Fatima? Which of the two? Wendy's? Burger King? I like both, but I used to go to, I used to go to the Burger King because my family always uh, preferred Burger King, but I like both. You like both. Okay. Yes. Your boyfriend took you to Burger King, so what option? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's okay. Thank you. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Let's move on. We have the other ones. Okay. The beach, the mountains, which is a better destination for vacation? Let's see who else is here in the group. Claudia Saravia. What's your opinion? In my opinion, in, for the vacation, is the, the beach. The beach. Be, yes, because um, research in a different place, visit different place or relax. Okay. The beach is mm. more relaxing. Okay, we are very good. Thank you. How about Ronnie Avalos? Which of the two? The beach? The mountains? The beach. The beach. Why? Yeah. Why? Because I like uh, 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 the sun or the water, the ocean. No, the water. The water. The water. Okay. Uh, and you see the ocean? You can see the ocean. Yeah. yeah, I like the beach. Okay, absolutely. Yes, I agree with you. Okay, uh -huh. much. Jose Arturo, what's your opinion? Which is better, the beach or the mountains as a, as a vacation destination? Okay. Oh, uh, the mountain. The mountain. 
Let's continue then. So Wendy, what about Wendy? What's your opinion, the beach or the mountains? Uh, but um, we prefer a beach. The beach, yes. Okay, yes. Hot and cold, if possible. <laughs> yes. In this case, it's mountain. impossible in yeah. uh -huh. two places. Two places, yes. Mm -hmm. OK. Excellent. Very good. Well, it's not really impossible if you go to California. Go skiing in the mountains and you go down and you go to the beach. But in our country, the beach and the mountains is not so easy, but it's possible. Okay, it's possible. Okay, let's see the next one. Which of the two places is better? Machu Picchu or the Eiffel Tower in Paris, which is better? For me, um, Paris is, is more better, it's romantic, but Machu Picchu is so nice. Yeah, it's, it's wonderful. Um, I prefer Machu Picchu. You prefer Machu Picchu? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a picture. Ah, yes, but Jose, Jose Arturo, you prefer it because of the Coke, the Coca. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Very nice. Okay, other peoples? Brian, which of the two? Paris, okay, the tower or the, the two place or maybe the the, the, the Eiffel Tower mm -hmm. because it's so famous. Yeah, you know that they say that here in this area the temperature is like if you are in air conditioning. In here, in this one, it's very cool. This is not cold, but very cool because it's very high. And the oxygen is very thin. It's difficult to breathe here. So you need Coke, Coca, right? Coke, people eat it to get more oxygen. Okay, so, well. Really, really. Yeah. It's true. Or Coca Cola. Yes. Well, you know that the composition of air is 20% of oxygen, right? 20% of oxygen is a normal composition of air, but here is the composition of air is 17%, 17%. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a reason why. Okay, and you Marvin, which of the two would you prefer? I, sorry for, my late. Hey, don't worry, don't worry. You're welcome. You're always welcome. Thank you, thank you. Yes. So which, which of the two would you prefer as a vacation destination? Uh, the Felt Tower or Machu Picchu? Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu, why? Because I like the mountain. You like the mountains, yes. Who doesn't, right? The mountains are wonderful. Yes. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. Now let's let's continue. We're going to be checking. Will and going to. I'm not going to bore bore you with uh, all of this, but I'm trying to make it quickly. So the pre you use the present progressive to talk about fixed fixed activities, okay? Let me see if I can uh, mark it down to write. Um, no, I'm going to use my board, okay? I'm going to use my board, okay? It didn't change its name, but all right, so like this, okay. 
So my friends, check over here. A simple present. Simple present for future. What do, why do we use simple present for future? The future is will. Yeah, the future is uh -huh, with will and with others. But let me see. I'm going to change the color of this because I need to. I know that you prefer this color. So let me see. Okay, A simple present for future is used to talk about fixed events, okay? Fixed events. You say, teacher, what's a fixed event? An arranged activity. And you say, teacher, I don't understand what is arranged events, okay? Um, let me tell you like this. Suppose that you talk to someone to organize uh, something, right? And you agree, there is an agreement and the people say, eh, teacher, eh, you are confusing. This is present progressive, not uh, simple present. But let me see, I'm going to move this to here because this is we're going to be putting it, sorry. I'm so happy about talking about this that I say, this is present progressive. Present progressive is about fixed events, things that you talk with other people, okay, and that you don't change. I'm going to give you examples, but then the simple present is used to talk about schedules. What's a schedule? is the organization of time. And this is made by companies, made by organizations, usually by schools, but not by, not by people, okay? So I'm going to explain this one too. So let me see, uh, just the two, simple present, schedules, present progressive, fixed events, arranged events. Let's see the examples. With the simple present, we use specific adjective, specific verbs, open, open or close. We use start or finish. We use a begin or end. We use a come or go. We use leave and arrive. We use a depart and of course with arrive, right? Okay. So why? Because we're talking about schedules. See, for example, if you say about the train, my train leaves at uh, 5.30 a.m. tomorrow. So what's the meaning here? My train leaves at 5.30 a.m. tomorrow, means uh, there is a train, there is a train leaving at 5.30 a.m. And that's the one that is better for me. So that is the schedule. That's what they are offering. My train leaves at 5.30 a.m. It's convenient, that's the most convenient for me. And that's the one that I'm taking. So, 
over here, you may use the present progressive, something that you arrange, you say, I'm taking that train. I'm taking that train. So this is an arranged event. You already have the tickets. So you say, I'm taking that train. My train leaves at 5.30 a.m. Do I have something to say about the schedule? No, the companies make the schedules. People choose the schedules, right? Teacher, what's a schedule? Schedule is the organization of time and events. For example, I'm going to give you an, this is just an example of a school. At seven o'clock in the morning, uh, mathematics. At eight o'clock in the morning, uh, physical education. At 10 o'clock in the morning, uh, physics. At 11, uh, natural sciences, okay, et cetera. So that is a schedule, right? We use simple present. Okay. Um, an example. Eric, do you watch? Uh, do you watch the U the European soccer? Yeah. Um, repeat, please, teacher. Do you watch? Do you watch the European soccer? For example, the Europe League. Europa League. Yes. Today it was the champions, right? It was uh, uh, Liverpool, uh, Liverpool, uh, Real. Uh, okay, I'm not uh, soccer fan. Uh, uh, no, to follow the soccer match. Uh -huh. you, don't, you don't follow soccer match. But uh -huh. what time do the matches usually start? Excuse me, teacher. What time do you think the soccer matches start? Um, what time do they begin? Like 1 p.m., right? Ah, uh, to the, uh, the match to the today. Yes. Um, I hear. Uh, uh, the, the 1 p.m. Uh -huh. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And tomorrow, they start at the same time, right? Yes, I believe. Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah, that is a schedule. Okay. That's a schedule. Yeah. Okay. Do you watch the news, Eric? And yes, at... Uh, half time on the mediodía. At noon. At noon. Okay. What time does the news start? Uh, 12 o'clock. 12. 12 o'clock, yes. Okay. So that is a schedule, right? Yes, you, that's quick. Can, you can say the news starts at 12 o'clock tomorrow. Okay. That is. Okay. Schedule. Okay. Yes. Something something like um, the present progressive is something like this. Imagine that there is a concert. What's your favorite band? Do you have a favorite band? Okay. Sorry. A favorite band, a favorite singer. A queen. Queen. Ah, you have okay, Queen. Imagine Queen comes tomorrow. Would you go to the concert? No, oh, I don't watch it on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch it on TV. <laughs> okay, excellent. That's a wonderful answer. Okay, I'm going to watch it on TV. So, well, imagine that you say Queen comes and you have the ticket. Someone says, hey, are you going to go to the concert tomorrow? And you say, of course, I'm going to the concert tomorrow. I have the tickets. You say, I'm going because you are sure because you have the tickets. This is certain, okay? 
that you're, you're, you are going to the concert. So we use it like that. Present progressive indicates something certain. Okay, like um, I'm getting married next week. Why do you say that you're getting married next week? Uh, because I reserve the church. I have the lady that I'm marrying and I have uh, everything arranged. So I'm getting married next week, right? So we use present progressive like that. Going to is a little different. For example, going to talks about intentions. Going to talks about intentions. It talks about plans, decisions, and of course, predictions. Now, the intention, what's an intention? Something that you want to do, but maybe you will not, you're not going to do it. Maybe it's just going to be an intention. Um, an example, a friend of yours says, hey, do you have the English book? And you say, no, I don't, my brother does. I'm going to ask him, maybe he lends it to you. You say, really, okay, thank you very much. That's an intention, okay? Plan, a plan is something that you sit down and you organize, you say, I'm, I'm saving money. Why? Because I'm going to travel to Spain next year. Really? And what are you going to do? Oh, I'm going to visit uh, some museums. I'm going to visit some stadiums. And I'm going to visit family in Spain. Okay, so that is a plan. What about a decision? A decision is like, I'm uh, going to sell my house. Why are you going to sell your house? I'm going to sell my house because uh, uh, I have too many problems here. I have to find another place that is safer, nicer, okay? So I'm going to sell my house. That is a decision that you have made. Difficult decision, probably. Okay, how about a prediction? A prediction is based on census. Sensorial, sensorial information, okay, sensorial information, previous information, and of course the last one, previous action. You say, teacher, what is that? Okay. You see someone is driving like crazy, right? Someone is driving like crazy. What's your prediction? He is going to crash. Someone is driving like crazy and the prediction is, well, he's going to crash. Okay. Uh, you see someone opening the refrigerator. Okay, someone is opening the refrigerator and has a glass in her hand. You say, oh, she's going to drink soda, right? Why, How, why do you say that? Because she is opening the refrigerator, but she doesn't have soda, she has only water. Okay, she's going to drink water, right? She's going to drink something because she has a glass and she's opening the refrigerator, prediction. Okay, previous action. Okay, what about sensorial information? You look up to the sky and the sky is dark. The, sky, the clouds are dark and it looks like rain. So what's your prediction? It's going to, it's going to rain, right? Prediction is it's going to rain. Okay. Now, previous information, someone calls you. Teacher, I'm not going to go to class tonight. Why not? Uh, I have to work. Okay, someone says, hey, where is, where is uh, Fatima? 
And then you say, Fatima is not here. She's not going to come. Why not? She has to work. Previous information, right? Previous information. Now, what about will? What do we use will for? Will is used for future. And decision. Yeah, exactly. We use it in clauses, right? And of course, we use few, we use will also for decisions. What decisions? Spontaneous. Spontaneous decisions. What's the meaning of spontaneous? A decision. Okay. Yeah, exactly. A decision that you make in the moment, right? You say someone you meet people. Where are you going? To the movies. To the movies? Hey, I will go with you. I will go with you. It's a decision in the moment. I will go with you. Okay. It's a decision in a moment. Okay, you also talk about prediction. Predictions are made, made on based on routines. Okay, say, uh, Miguel, no, maybe there is one Miguel here, another one. Salvador was late on Monday. He was late on Tuesday. He was late on Wednesday. Today is Thursday. What prediction do you make? He will be late. He will be late. He was late on Monday. He was late on Tuesday. He was late on Wednesday. Today is Thursday. He will be late. Prediction based on routine. He was late, he was late, he was late, he was late. He will be late. Okay. Real Madrid lost on Sunday. He, they lost on Wednesday and they will play on Saturday. Prediction, they will lose on Saturday. Okay, why? Because they have been losing. Okay. Say like, um, Jack got up late on Monday. He got up late on Tuesday and then on Wednesday. Today is, okay, it's first. AM, what prediction do you make? He will get up late because it's been happening, right? So that is prediction based on routine, but also prediction based on general knowledge. You say, teacher, what's a general knowledge? General knowledge is everything that you know. An example, uh, women like flowers. And your friend says, Maria, does, Maria is angry. She doesn't wanna talk to me. Hey, why don't you give her some flowers? I know she will like them. I know she will like them and she will forgive you. Right? So that is a prediction. She will forgive you. How? Because of the flowers, maybe. All right, so the last one, we use few, okay, will also for requests. Requests, teacher, what's a request? Petition. A request is a petition. What is that? Can you do me a favor? Will you please open the window? Will you, uh, will you take me to the hospital tomorrow morning? So requests, petitions, okay? Now let's continue. So this is just putting this uh, in perspective. Okay, here you have other examples. Let's see, let's do this exercise. The train, what? This is a schedule. So what do we use? Yes, my dear ones, what do we use? We'll go into present progressive, simple present. Simple present. 
simple present, right? Arriving. The train arrives. Arrives at. The train arrives uh, at 12, 1230. Yeah. But if it's a specific time, you can also use will arrive. The train will arrive at 1230. Okay. So if it's a, this is more like a prediction. So you say the train will arrive at 1230. Okay. Let me see. Change, change the color again. Okay. Tell me the ones, check. The next one. We dinner at Seaside restaurant on Sunday. What do you think this is? We are plan. having a plan. What do you think? Or do you think that this is an arrangement? These plans. Yes, right. So you can say we are having, we're having dinner at a seaside restaurant on Sunday, or the other possibility we are going to have. We are going to have dinner at a seaside restaurant on Sunday, or we're having dinner at a seaside restaurant on Sunday. What about number three? What do you think? To snow in Brighton tomorrow evening. It is snowing in Brighton tomorrow. Uh, okay. We use present progressive about things that we human beings decide, but snow, do you think that people can decide over snow? Hey, tomorrow we will snow or is snowing. Not right. We cannot decide on the weather. We can predict it, but we cannot decide on it. So how can we talk about the prediction? Will exactly. It will, it will snow, right? It will snow in Brighton tomorrow evening. Excellent. What about number four? On Friday at eight o'clock. This is like an arrangement. What do we use with I'm the? Going. Uh huh. I'm I'm going to meet. You can use "I'm going to meet" or you're going to use "I'm meeting." Yes. I'm going to meet is also correct. I'm going to meet, not I will meet. Okay, why not teacher? Because I will meet is like you are deciding right now, right? So it's not correct. This is maybe a plan or a, an arrangement. Your friend knows that you are meeting him. So that's why the two know and you have organized. Five, all what? Now this is, yes, this can be an arrangement. All? He's flying. All is flying to London on Monday morning, yes. All is flying to London on Monday morning. Wait, okay, this is a decision in the moment, right? Wait, what? What do we use for this in the moment? I will. Uh -huh. I will drive you to the station. I will drive you to the station. I will drive you to the station. Perfect. The English lesson. This is a. What a schedule, right? The English lesson is 
What do we use for schedules? Starting. Uh -huh, simple present. Starting. Starts. The English lesson starts at 8.45. Okay. Are you still writing your essay? If you... You are finishing. Uh, normally in clauses, what do we use? If Present you... Will, right? So, in this part, I'm going to put it like this. In this part, next to a if, next to when, next to whatever, you use simple present. On this side, after the comma, you can use will or going to, but most of the time will. For example, if you help me, I will go with you. If you help me, I will go with you. If you, uh, let's say, invite me, I will go with you, okay? So you use here the present and here you use will. Okay, the other one, nine. I, what do you think this could be? A plan, an arrangement? Plan. Maybe, right? So what do we use? I am going to. I'm going to see my mom. I'm going to see my mom in April. Number 10, look at the clouds. Prediction? What do we use? It will rain. It will rain. Yeah. It will rain. It will rain. A few minutes. It will rain in a few minutes. 11. When this side we use present, in this side you use will. What do we say? When they. When they get married in March, they. This is another type of future, but I'm going to put it here only because we have to say they will have been, they will have been together, they will have been together for six years. The meaning is, cuando se casen en marzo, habrán estado juntos por, diez, por seis años. Right? Habrán estado juntos. They will have been together for six years. Okay. Now let's see. 12. You're caring too much. I have a question, coach. Tell me, please. Uh, in the. Will have have been. Sorry, I missed. I'm, I'm putting an extra half. Okay. Yes, thank you. I will have been. They will have been. Abraham, yes. Oh, uh -huh. yes, thanks. They will have been together for six months. Abraham is mm -hmm. Thanks. What about 12? What do we use in 12? You're caring too much. It's an offer, right? What do we use to offer? Will. So we say, I will open. I will open the door for you. You're caring too much. I will open the door for you. Do you think the teacher, what? Mark is correct. And this is the same as this one. Mark's. We love. We love Mark. We love, we love mark our homework by Monday morning. This is, ¿Crees que el teacher habrá corregido nuestra tarea para el Monday? Okay. Habrá corregido, we love mark. Okay. So, 14. When I, tomorrow, you remember next to when we use present, 
and in the other we use will. So how do we do it? When I see you tomorrow, <clears throat> when I see you tomorrow, what? I will show you. I will show you. I will show you my new book. Okay. Yes, the same in this one. After you, what? Take, take a nap, you. You will feel, you will a, lot feel better. a lot better. I'm sorry, but you need to stay in the office until, this is like after, like when, you use until, what do you use here? Finish, right? Finish. Okay. You need to stay in the office until you finish your work. Okay. Well, my friends, this is as far as we have time to come to study. We're going to stop here. Thank you very much for your patience. And okay. So we're going to stop here. Uh, continue studying because this is a little. Uh, it's beautiful, but it's a little difficult. So we need, uh, we have a lot of rules and we need to study them. So one hour is not enough. Okay, so, but just to check overly what, it, what we have seen. Okay, so my friends, thank you very much for, for staying to the end. Okay, bye-bye, take care. Yes. Each, each this is the last, the bye -bye. last class. Today is, is the last class. The finish the course. Yeah, we we are finishing the course right now. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. I couldn't be with you, but uh, maybe in the next maybe in the next course you see your teacher again. Okay. Okay. So today we. Thank start. you. Yes, you're welcome, my friends. Thank good you. night, teacher. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Take care. Good night. Thank you, buddy. Good night, everybody. Take care.